There has been chatter online that Microsoft could possibly be gearing up for yet another big acquisition. And while we're at it, it looks like this major title is making its way over to the Xbox platform. But let's break this all down, up next. What's going on guys, it's Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. Alright, so I wanted to take some time today to do a little housekeeping in the gaming headlines, seeing how another Xbox Studio acquisition was floated out there and it's been the talk of the town over the past few weeks. Now the studio in question is Pocket Pair who, in case you didn't know, were the minds behind the wildly successful game being Pal World. And by now you've heard the numbers this game crushed as far as sales number goes, but it released back in January on Steam and Xbox Game Preview. And since its release, Pal World has faced and continues to face a fair share of controversies. And this all stems through copycat accusations through Pokemon, and a whole bunch of other things. And despite all that, it went on to attract 25 million players within its first month, and it just continued to grow from there. Speaking of growing, while the game as of right now just lives on Steam and Xbox Game Preview, Pocket Pair CEO Takuro Muzobi didn't exactly state this, but there was a small possibility the game could come over to platforms like PlayStation and Nintendo, and that talks are ongoing at this time. Now what's even better here is that he also mentioned Pocket Pair as a company would be open to offers for partnerships or an outright acquisition. But he was also clear to state the company has not had buyout talks with Microsoft. And I personally think no matter if it's Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo, which would be the rather wild one, this is a very tantalizing prospect. And this is mainly because they have a very large player base invested in PAL World but it's also a games as a service game that's getting more and more content added by the month. This is also without factoring in this small bit of info here that Pal World only took $6.7 million to make and has made a huge return on investment since launch. So companies would no doubt see those rather big profit margins and they'd begin to salivate at this prospect. But Mizobi also talked about this idea of Pocket Pair remaining a small studio, and where they see the industry going. Quote, We are and will remain a small studio. I want to make multiple small games. Big AAA games are just not for us. He also continued to say, Games are most fun when playing with friends. A game without a multiplayer mode just doesn't feel right in the era we live today. Honestly, I can't knock that approach either. We see too often studios get way in over their heads when making these large AAA games, only to shut down due to a really bad launch or a big mishap somewhere along the line. So they clearly struck gold with Pal World and the large margin it created. Now I'm not saying every game they churn out will be the return like they got through Pal World, but they do know the weight class they're in, and they aim to stick with it for future success. Now let's shift gears a little bit here and talk about Persona 6, seeing how that game has come up quite a bit over the past few days. Until fairly recently, Persona has been this franchise that has rarely seen the Xbox platform. But now, rumors are starting to reignite thanks to Nate the Hate, because according to him, Atlas might just be planning to release their next big game in the series to Xbox, that being Persona 6. Quote, from the information I've heard, it does seem that Persona 6 will be coming to Xbox. I'm not 100% sure if it will be day and date with the PlayStation version, but considering the way the Persona games have been day and date with multi-platform releases at this point, it may be a safe assumption to make. But that wasn't the end to all these rumors, because according to the VGC and their sources, another Atlas insider claimed that Persona 3 Reload and Metaphor ReFantasio are coming to the Nintendo Switch too. And I gotta say, that's huge. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. Do you think Pocket Pair should stay as this small indie studio? Personally, yeah. I think they should stay on their own. I don't think Xbox should acquire them. I don't think PlayStation, Nintendo, again, would be very wild. But they could explore this partnership route just a little bit. 
But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.